హలో గుడ్ డే గ్రో ఫర్ డిజైన్ ఆఫ్ క్లచెస్ కంటైన్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ టు బి కవర్డ్ ఇన్ డిజైన్ ఆఫ్ క్లచెస్ ఆర్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ క్లాసిఫికేషన్ ఆఫ్ క్లచెస్ డిజైన్ ఆఫ్ అ సింగిల్ ప్లేట్ క్లచ్ డిజైన్ ఆఫ్ అ మల్టీ ప్లేట్ క్లచ్ అండ్ డిజైన్ ఆఫ్ కోన్ క్లచ్ సో లెట్ అస్ సీ వాట్ ఇస్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ క్లచ్ అండ్ వాట్ ఇస్ ద పర్పస్ అండ్ వై నీడ్ టు యూజ్ ద క్లచ్ no clutch is a mechanical uh, device or mechanical element which is used to make an uh, engagement and disengagement uh, to transmit the power or to transmit the torque between the uh, driving shaft and a uh, driven shaft basically the contact or the transmission power uh, you can get from uh, different uh, ways one is uh, connection can be done with the help of a frictional with the help of magnetic force with the help of hydraulic or with the help of a mechanical joint okay now connection between uh, two machine members or elements it is what a driving member as well as a driven member now why it is necessary to go for uh, a clutch suppose if you want to get the different speed for your bike or for your automobile as the power transmission takes place from engine to the gearbox suppose if you want to get the different torque for your output shaft for your output shaft if you want to transmit the different torque you are going to use a gearbox now as engine is going to be produce a constant speed here as it is produce constant speed as you need variation speed or variation of torque okay for your output shaft now you need an engagement and a disengagement between the engine and the gearbox to get engagement and a disengagement between gearbox and engine you need an element that is what a clutch okay that is what a clutch now clutch is a mechanical device which is used to make an engagement or disengagement between this driving shaft driving shaft and this is a driven shaft okay now look at the components so it is a flywheel which is going to be connected at the engine crank shaft it is connected to the engine crank shaft now once a shaft or spline shaft is connected now over that one you are going to get uh, the clutch here clutch includes a uh, clutch disc pressure plate they have an two aluminum cover plates here okay now we are going to study the design of this uh, clutch disc we are going to study design of this clutch disc Now let us uh, go for the classification of clutches. Clutches are mainly classified as there are two way. One is what a positive clutch, another one is a friction clutch. Again friction clutches are going to be classified based on the direction of the axial force or the frictional force which is going to act over the driving member 
our driving plate okay axial friction clutches are again you can say those are the plate or disc clutches based on number of plates you can classify it as a single plate clutch if you have a more number of plates you can say it as a multiplied clutch if the plate is of a conical nature then you can say it as a cone clutch now all these three are going to become under axial friction clutches axial friction clutches now radial friction clutches uh, is a one it is not a centrifugal clutch it is not a centrifugal clutch now the positive clutches is what in a jaw clutch or a clock coupling which are going to be used in power presses as well as power punches now for clock clutch you just refer figure number 13.9 and 13.7 from your data handbook so now how the friction clutches are going to be work so as the contact of surfaces takes place if you consider this as a one plate or one flange you can say it is a flange which is connected to the driving shaft okay now we have a one more flange or one more disc okay, which is connected to the driven shaft now between this uh, plate and one material is used that is what a friction material that is what a friction material now because of this friction material so the contact of a drive one a driven shaft to the driving shaft takes place now by virtue of frictional force as it is developed the transmission of power will takes place from a driving shaft to the driven shaft now friction clutches are normally used in automobiles or scooters or motorcycles okay. are used in automobiles scooters motorcycles etc okay now let us uh, go through the working of a single plate clutch here now this driving shaft is connected to the engine right okay and this driver shaft is connected to the gearbox is connected to the gearbox now this is a clutch here this is a what clutch just look out uh, what are the components are associated with uh, the single plate clutch here if I have a driving plate or a pressure plate, if I have a friction lining, if I have a driven plate or friction plate or a clutch plate, okay, and you have a helical compression spring here, and you have a disengagement sleeve here, okay, and you got a lever, you got a clutch pedal. Suppose if you want to disengage this driving plate to the driven plate you are going to operate the clutch pedal as exert force over this clutch pedal as it is a lever mechanism you have fulcrum here or a pivot here as you apply the force this is lever is going to be moved down okay it is going to oscillate in a clockwise direction similarly the small length lever is going to be oscillate in right hand side direction as this lever is going to be oscillates so it is going to move this sleeve in right side direction okay. it is going to move right side direction so movement of this uh, flange causes the disengagement of the driven plate 
or clutch plate with a driving plate here okay let's go on to disengage with driving plate If you release the force which is over clutch pedal now this lever is going to be move in an anti clockwise direction is going to oscillate in right hand side now this is going to be oscillate in left hand side now this disengagement sleeve is going to be move to the left hand side okay? because of this helical compression spring now engagement of this plate that is what a clutch plate is going to take place over the driving plate because of the force exerted by spring here force exerted by the helical spring helical compression spring right helical compression spring is going to exert a force on the sleeve it is going to make a engagement now we are going to consider uh, for analysis purpose that is what a friction lining material we are going to call that as a clutch plate we are going to call that as a clutch plate so let us see the another feature here it is the same now here the arrangement of a clutch and pedal is made if you push here it is going to make a disengagement it is going to compress okay and if you release the load it is going to make an engagement with the driving shaft now engagement of driving shaft is tasteless because of this uh, helical compression spring because of helical compression spring let us go for a uh, another type of clutch that is what a multiplate clutch now this multiplate clutch is shown in an uh, line diagram here you can just uh, look out you have a plate a you have a plate b here okay now plate a is connected to the driven shaft plate a is connected to the driven shaft which are made of a steel here which are made of a steel and while uh, plate b made of bronze okay or mounted on driving shaft or mounted on driving shaft okay. now if you consider the single plate clutch okay, if you consider single plate clutch and multi plate clutch if a space constraint is there if a space constraint is there you go for multiplet clutch you go for multiplet clutch if a space constraint is not there you go for single plate clutch one more reason so you can go for if you need a smoother operation of clutches then you go for multiplet clutch they need multiplet so you go for multiplet clutch now let us go for uh, the difference uh, between a single plate clutch and multiplet clutch now in single plate you are going to get a maximum two contacting surfaces but here you have more than two contacting surfaces now heat dissipation is less due to less number of contacting surface heat dissipation is more because of more contacting surface now single plate clutches can be run in a dry condition okay they can be dry in run in a dry condition so hence no requirement of lubrication here but multi plate clutches are run in a wet okay because they need more cooling or more lubrications as the heat is generated more 
require less space for this uh, multi plate clutch here you need a more space normally single plate clutches are used in motors heavy motor vehicles uh, like uh, trucks bus okay and uh, multi plate clutches are going to be used in light motor vehicles such as a scooter motorcycle and same in machine tools now as i said if you want to transmit uh, the 100 newton meter as a torque for that one you need a single plate clutch as a larger multi plate clutch as a smaller here now we'll go for uh, analysis of uh, clutch plate basically you need to go through the two theories of uh, analysis two theories of for analysis purpose uh, one is what a uh, uniform uh, pressure theory another one is uniform wear theory suppose if you need to calculate the dimensions or uh, clutch plate parameters then you need to go for a uniform press theory if a friction material or friction liner is a new one if a friction liner is a new one then you need to go for uniform pressure theory if it is a worn out if you want to go for calculation of uh, or dimensions of the worn out then you go for uniform sorry uh, if you want to go for calculation uh, for worn out liner worn out liner then you go for uniform wear theory okay so we'll see the torque analysis of single plate clutch as well as multi plate clutch in the next video thank you